I'd heard a lot of good things about this one, but I didn't really know what it was about. But a lot of people who are really into movies said it was good, so I was kinda excited. However, when I eventually sat down to watch it, I was a bit underwhelmed, to be honest. Because, well, it's a movie that's very much split into two distinct parts. And for the first hour or so, I honestly didn't understand why people were so hyped up about it. I mean, it's a well-shot movie and the acting's great. I didn't have any problems with any of that. But the story is about this small community and the Italian countryside. Essentially a farm community, and it mainly follows this one kid, Lazaro who's this kind of naive, gentle soul, and he seems to be a bit of an outsider in the community. And other people basically seem to take advantage of his kindness. That's the basic premise of the movie, at least the first part. There are some other elements too, like the people who actually own the farm. And there are some kind of strange plots involving them too, but I'm not gonna get into details here. But visually, what struck me the most was that the movie genuinely looks like it was shot on some old film stock. Which, together with the production design and the costumes, give everything a certain aesthetic. And for a while there, I thought the movie took place in the 70s. I mean, there's really no reason to think otherwise. But then eventually, there's some stuff that definitely puts it into the late 90s. Which was a bit confusing to me, and I didn't really get what it was doing. Mixing these two eras in the way it did. And yeah, it didn't make a lot of sense. And that first part of the movie definitely didn't impress me much. Because I'll be honest, the story and the characters didn't really stand out to me. Nothing really came across as noteworthy or worth talking about. It was actually borderline boring to me. Not that engaging or interesting. But then we get to the halfway point and something happens. And you know what? It gets weird, but not in a very over-the-top way. It's more of a subtle weirdness, where the story just takes a real strange turn. I mean, it dips into fantasy territory at this point. And well, it did get a lot more interesting to me. Because at the same time, it also explains exactly what was going on earlier. So that whole first half of the movie actually makes a lot more sense. And the whole time period discrepancy is explained too. So after that, I was a lot more engaged and interested in what was going on. But here's the real problem for me. The protagonist, Lazaro, he isn't that interesting. And I don't even know if he's supposed to be. Or if he's actually just more of a vehicle for us to follow these other characters. That are a lot more interesting. And I guess my issue is that the story could have been told in a different way. Without the character of Lazaro, they could have just followed the other group of people. The group that actually seems to be the real focus of the story. I guess what I'm trying to say is that I honestly didn't really get it. I don't really get what they were trying to do with the movie, because of the way the story was told. It puts this Lazaro character in front and center and sets him up as the protagonist. And especially in the first half, it focuses mostly on him. But the story it seems to want to tell is about the community around him. The other people, not really him, he's just sort of there and kind of a blank canvas of a character. So the way they approached this story just didn't make a lot of sense to me. But the main story about the little community is a good story. I liked it. I'm just not sure what purpose this whole Lazaro character really served. And why they felt the need to add this weird fantasy aspect to the story. I mean, it definitely made it more unique and made it stand out. But did it actually serve the story? Which interestingly enough seems to be some sort of capitalist critique. And I'm not sure it did. At least for me it didn't really work as well as it could have. That being said, I still enjoyed the movie to some degree. I didn't hate it. But the second half was a lot stronger than the first half. Especially as I was watching it. In hindsight, with the proper context, the first part worked a lot better. But overall, I'm not really sure what I was supposed to take away from this. I mean, it was sort of interesting and at least it tried something different. So would I recommend it? Uh, maybe. It's definitely a unique experience. So maybe check it out, maybe don't. I'm not your dad. But I am trying to sell out, so consider liking, subbing, hitting that bell and supporting me on Patreon. Because I really need to get myself a farm in Italy. And hey, why not drop a comment below or check out another review? I'd appreciate it. Thanks.